Okie dokie. Hey, everybody. Uh, we are live. Uh, thank you for those of us who uh, have joined me. Uh, my name is Adam. I'm looking at my face over here, so that's why I might be looking off into the... Uh over into the ether, but um, uh, you'll have to get used to that today because uh, this is my first real live online tour. We did some testing last week, but other than that, uh, welcome to our inaugural live online tour. Uh, so I want to welcome everybody to George Brown College uh, and to, uh, we're at our Castle on the campus this morning. Um, I'm going to uh, turn this around so you guys can see this is our welcome desk. Say hi, Liv. Oh, she's on camera. Say hi, Ruby. Peter's in the back there. Our, our very friendly uh, group here at the welcome desk. Uh, so Kessel Loma Campus is one of our three main campuses that we have here at uh, George Brown. Uh, we have our St. James Campus, uh, which is down by St. Lawrence Market. We're doing tours later on today for that. Uh, we have our Waterfront Campus, uh, which is right down on the water, just south of where St. James is. Um, and it's a beautiful space uh, down there. So, uh, and I think we're doing a tour there tomorrow. So if you get a chance to join us, please do. But these will also be saved uh, onto uh, YouTube. So just a couple of things to keep in mind while we go on with the tour. Uh, my uh, buddy and colleague James uh, Pascucci uh, is working at home uh, on the chat. So um, in the instructions, we put that if you do have a uh, Google account or uh, a YouTube account, your own personal one, you're more than welcome to log in and then you'd be able to chat in real time uh, with this presentation. Um, I do ask just because uh, chats pop up onto my screen um, that you save all the wonderful things for about how handsome I am. Uh, and all that uh, for later on. Um, uh, but uh, if you would like to uh, uh, have any questions answered uh, throughout the, the tour, go for it. Um, and I'll try to answer those or James will answer those uh, throughout the, the day. So um, I'll get a little, I'll get back to a little bit about what we have here. So. Uh, this is our welcome desk inside uh, 146 Kendall Avenue. Um, it, uh, welcome desk is really a, uh, an important spot on campus because it's where we do our wayfinding. Uh, so if people are not sure where to go on campus, you can always stop with the uh, wonderful folks uh, at the welcome desk and they'll be able to help you uh, sort of figure out where to go on campus. Um, if you, uh, this building can be a little bit confusing when you're first starting here. Um, so uh, they can help you with that. Uh, if you needed to uh, find a room sort of thing when you start here, uh, when you first get to uh, George Brown. Uh, so there's lots of opportunities for you to use their help. They're also the keepers of our, our lockers that we have here on campus. Uh, so, uh, when you, uh, when you start here, it's not mandatory, but you will have the opportunity to rent a locker. Uh, they're $15 for the full semester, which is pretty reasonable. Uh, I mean, in the grand scheme of fees you're gonna pay, but uh, I highly recommend you guys do that. Um, a lot of people, especially with our winters and stuff like that, if you wanna leave your stuff in your locker kind of thing before you go to class. And then you would just sort of re-register for it uh, every semester. Um, or if you do it through StuView, uh, you can purchase it like, I think for up to three semesters. Uh, so it would just be multiples of $15. So it'd be about 45 for the three. Uh, and then they would help you uh, at the, uh, uh, welcome desk to sort that out or again you could do it all through StuView. Up to you. Now speaking of StuView, we are just entering our Student Service Center. So we're uh, now in our C building. Uh, we started in the E building there but we are now up at the Casaloma uh, Welcome Center. So what does the Welcome Center do? Well uh, this amongst uh, many other things uh, so, Welcome Center, uh, sorry, the uh, service center here um, is really to help you with uh, things like behind the scenes paperwork uh, that you guys need to get done. So, this would be things like um, if you needed to pay your tuition, uh, if you needed help with registering for classes, if you wanted to drop or add classes, things like that, you'd be able to do through the student service center here. Uh, now, most of this stuff you'll probably get done usually before the classes start, um, but it is a great option for you uh, if you wanted to come in and talk to somebody in person. That said, I mentioned StuView before, you can do pretty much anything you can do uh, through these folks, uh, through StuView. Uh, it just wouldn't necessarily be um, with uh, the, um, uh, an actual person. You would be doing it online, okay? Uh, so uh, feel free, if you need to come in and use them, you're welcome to, but I always say, exhaust your options on StuView first, because then that way, if it's summertime, you're up at the cottage, as long as you can get on Wi-Fi, you can do everything from there. So another spot in this area here is our career center. So we're going to talk about two more areas here. So career center 
uh, is uh, at Casa Loma campus, and we have one at each of our main campuses. Career Centre is really the spot that you're going to go uh, to do any of uh, the how do I be professional kind of stuff. So you guys will end up um, here uh, doing workshops for your resume. Uh, it could be something like uh, uh, mock interview skills, because who's good at doing job interviews? Uh, they can help you sort of get through the tips and tricks and tools and all that great stuff uh, to do that. Now, uh, what's really cool about this area is that you guys will have access to them while you are, sorry, my emails just went off, <laughs> while you guys are a, a student here. But then when you graduate and you're registered alumni, you guys will have access to them, uh, to a career uh, consultant here, uh, really for the rest of your life. So that's something that's really cool. One of those great services that we don't just say, hey, goodbye, uh, good luck, uh, something that follows you through, uh, through the rest of your life. So really, really cool things. There's a number of services that do that. So keep that in mind uh, that you're a George Brown member for life which is very, very important. Now, uh, career services uh, online, uh, GB Careers, where you can go for a uh, job portal uh, to find employers with loaded job postings, things like that. Uh, there's, uh, there's computers here for you to do uh, your job finding skills, and then there's all those wonderful things that I mentioned to you as well before, uh, like mock interview sessions. Um, there are things like uh, your resume building skills and that. So just either go online to career services at georgebrown.ca, or uh, that's their email. Uh, if you go to georgebrown.ca slash career services, you'd be able to find them. Now, the last what I want to mention here is our student service, uh, student support services. So these are things like uh, accessible learning services or counseling services. So anybody who identifies as uh, having a disability would be able to go in and uh, use accessible learning services. They do require very specific medical documentation uh, in order to access things that we call accommodations. These could be things like uh, more time to do tests, uh, peer note taker. They really try to align accommodations with what your needs are. Now, like I say, they require very specific medical uh, documentation, so uh, keep in mind, yeah, if, even if you don't have this stuff, start by going online, looking at what they need, uh, register with them, talk to them, and they can help you. If you do indeed need supports, they can help you get those supports, okay? So, uh, or at least help you start the process to get those supports. So really, really important stuff uh, that they will do. Uh, and then there's our counseling services. We all have rich and dynamic lives. Uh, if you need some support, please feel free, go on in there, whether or not it be personal or academic in nature, uh, they will really help you with anything. So uh, uh, student support services, accessible learning services, uh, counseling services, all here as part of your tuition. Now, right now we are entering the library. Uh, so each of our main campuses has a library learning commons at it. Uh, at the libraries, you're gonna be able to do pretty much all the work that you would need to do outside of class. And there will be a lot of work outside of class. Uh, things like uh, research for exams, if you need to use one of the open access computer labs, uh, if you wanna do printing in here, if you wanted to, uh, to book rooms, things like that, there are lots of opportunities for you to be able to do that. Um, if you book uh, a, um, uh, if you book uh, one of the rooms, uh, they're basically boardrooms for you guys to be able to use. You would be able to uh, to do all your studying. They're they're really cool. You plug a laptop into the computer, it pops up on a flat screen TV, and off you go. Um, there is also uh, uh, things like VR equipment that they have here, especially at this campus. Uh, students in architecture and things like that would be the ones who are uh, using stuff like that. Um, uh, as well, too, uh, you guys will have access to uh, peer support, things like that, while you're here uh, to help keep you guys successful. So let's pop out. It's a, this is a very small part of the library learning commons that we're seeing, but uh, you guys are uh, encouraged, please, please, please to use them. None of the libraries are 24 hours. Uh, They're usually open the same hours as the college, uh, and uh, those hours are usually about uh, 7.30 in the morning till about 11 o'clock at night. Now, our St. James campus, um, a library learning commons, they are open uh, 24 hours during that crazy week of exams sort of thing, uh, where it rains, it pours, uh, everything's due, exams are due, all that stuff. Uh, we are far bigger proponents of time management skills, versus uh, overnighters because you need your sleep. But if you need to, uh, you're more than welcome to, uh, to use those spaces there. Um, <clears throat> now, I did say that's just for that week. So St. James is generally open, same hours as the rest of the college, as far as their library. Uh, and that would be uh, about 7.30 in the morning until 11 o'clock at night. 
So we are, uh, we are on our walk right now towards our uh, fashion area because I want to show you guys a little bit of that. Um, I'm not sure if everyone's aware, but most of the college spaces are closed right now. Uh, just um, we're trying to be as, uh, as uh, cautious as we can uh, and um, you know, proactive as far as the, uh, the COVID-19. So uh, we are uh, we're just trying to make sure that we're able to um, you know, uh, not be part of that problem. So uh, a lot of our spaces are closed, but we're still gonna see some of uh, the classrooms and that. Uh, hopefully if we can see through the windows there, uh, so you guys get a chance to look at that stuff. One thing I didn't mention uh, was that uh, as part of the library, we also have our tutoring and learning center. So if you were like me, I get a 54 in grade 11 math and I never look back. Um, <laughs> Uh, so if you wanted to come in and potentially uh, do some, uh, get some, some tutoring. So this would be a little bit more formal. Rather than drop in, it's more you would make a schedule with a peer tutor. Uh, you would work in the tutoring and learning center. Uh, students would be able to help you and uh, you would be able uh, to sort of work on your math and your English stuff, okay? Um, I, uh, I am in, sorry, I'm out of breath. I'm trying to walk and talk at the same time. We just came up some stairs. So uh, I'm gonna turn you around so I can pant uh, here off camera. But uh, here is the, uh, this is fashion area here. So if you're coming into one of the fashion programs, we happen to be in where the design techniques area is. Um, design and techniques, of course, uh, where students are building uh, clothing and things like that, really, really important. Uh, certainly, uh, in my opinion, to the fashion world because we're all, everybody's got a little bit of a fashionista in there. You can see into some of the classroom spaces, you can see the Judy's there uh, and uh, all of the industrial machines. Um, so one of the other really cool spots though that we have here within the um, uh, fashion area is uh, our city uptown and city downtown stores. So these are dedicated to students who are here uh, as part of the uh, fashion management program. And what's great about it is that it's a project for them and they basically get to source, buy, sell, run their own boutique shop um, with some pretty cool clothes, accessories, things like that. And this is all curated with the eye of a fashion management student. Uh, so uh, it's a great opportunity for those students to learn what it's like, you know, uh, to run their own store and all the trials and tribulations. But it's also a really great opportunity for folks like us uh, who, like I said, we are fashionistas, you would be able to, uh, you would be able to uh, do that stuff there. So uh, go in and get great stuff. Um, so we are in front of the Arts uh, and Information Office here. So I'm just trying to show this. There we go, Arts and Information Technology. So each one of our areas has a uh, faculty office. So why these are important, faculty offices are very, very important because uh, you need to know who your faculty are. So why is that important? Well, I always say to students who are coming into uh, college that your teachers uh, are really your first and foremost, uh, I think, job interviews. Uh, so every class, think of it as a job interview because then that way you're showing up, you're doing your best work, and you'll find that a lot of the uh, teachers who might be part-time, they will be uh, doing, uh, they'll be working out in industry, or if they're full-time, they probably have a huge list of um, employers that they would be able to hook you up with. Uh, so you think about it like that, and you would be able to uh, do all that stuff. Now, uh, you see Liz walking behind me. No, Liz, you're gonna get on camera here with me. Say hello, everybody's like, Liz, introduce yourself. I am a full-time liaison officer. I work with Adam, so I'm following him around just so I can learn how to do this for the future. <laughs> she is, uh, and she's being my, my uh, creative manager here. She's, she's blocking the paparazzi for me. So. <laughs> Uh, so we are on our fourth floor here, and you can see the rows of lockers. I mentioned lockers before, uh, and we're going to just spin this around now so that you don't need to look at my face anymore. Uh, we have our very large uh, 3D printed uh, CN Tower here, uh, and um, we are going to pop down here to the Student Learning Center. So um, out of always an abundance of privacy for our students, uh, I'm go, I don't think we should have too many people here, but we're going to uh, just take a quick look 
uh, in these spaces that we have here. So this is a student learning center. You'll see the, the building living wall right there. You'll see some workspaces. Uh, that's a very important door I'll tell you about in just a second. Uh, we have computer labs. I know it doesn't look as awesome as usual because we are missing our students. That's what always makes it look great. But uh, that door, very, very important because you will be doing those things right there. You see the models. Uh, so for most of the students who are in CCET programs, and that's really what this space is dedicated to, CCET programs uh, would be anything like construction, engineering technologies, architecture, um, any of the skilled trades. We'll be doing things in here. Many of those programs you'll be, cry, re, be required to do uh, models. Um, and so uh, these can take upwards of 100 hours to do. You're usually doing them in a group. Uh, and. Uh, it will, uh, it, it's not something you, you really want to take on the subway sort of thing and the icy weather uh, out of here. So that way, behind that door, that's where students are able to do it, uh, keep them safe. Uh, and then it's a wonderful workroom because, of course, it gets loud. Because really, the spot is to help you guys do the work that you need to do outside of class. Uh, the, uh, the living wall I mentioned before is right there uh, for students uh, who may be in uh, building reno uh, or in um, architecture or, or carpentry or whatever. Uh, one of the programs here needed to see the different stages that it takes uh, for a, uh, a wall to go up. So, you know, really thoughtful things like that. Student Learning Center is part of the larger student uh, circle for success. Uh, there's this space, uh, which is really dedicated to the academic part of things. Uh, there is uh, Peer Connect, which is uh, another space in here, um, just next door. Uh, it's dedicated to sort of wellness uh, and getting your sort of career life up to snuff, uh, getting you ready to get out into industry. Uh, and then there's the Tutoring and Learning Center, which I mentioned before about uh, specific math and English tutoring. So uh, we're going to bid this space a fond farewell, uh, and we are going to pop downstairs uh, and uh, take a look. Uh, you guys can join me on the stairs here so you don't have to stare at my face. Um, da, da, da. This is the fun part about uh, getting to do online. I, I'm, I'm going to try not to fall. This is, thank goodness Liz is here. She's holding on to my, uh, my sweater so I don't, I don't tumble down the stairs because I can bear it. I can barely walk on a good day, so being able to walk and talk. Um, so something to keep in mind about this building, I'm actually going to spin it around so you can look at me. Something to keep in mind with this building is that uh, it is uh, made up of C, D, and E, building C, D, and E. We used to have A and B. I think B still exists. Um, but uh, for the purposes for students, really, you're going to be using C, D, and E. Uh, and uh, they're all in inside, so you don't have to walk outside to get anywhere um, at this campus. Uh, but uh, it's, it's sprawling. Um, there's only four, four sometimes, uh, and in parts of the building, five floors uh, that you need to, to worry about. But there's, uh, there's lots of opportunities, stairs, elevators for you to get around. No matter what you need to do, we always make sure that you're very uh, able to get to class. So. We just passed through uh, from the C building uh, to uh, the, uh, um, sorry, from the, from the D building to the C building. Um, and we are in the cafeteria. And again, it makes, makes me sad because there's no students here. Um, but <laughs> this, is your, this is your cafeteria space for if you do end up coming to uh, the college. Uh, of course, uh, um, there are some places that are closed down right now just because we don't need them open for students. Um, but, oh. You know you're in Canada when, right down to the very last moment, there will always be a Tim Hortons open. But no That's what I have, but no lineup. That's unheard of. Uh, so these are the spaces. Wave, hey. Um, it's Scott from uh, the admission center. Um, but here in the, the cafeteria, it's for you to be able to come in, enjoy your food, meet with your friends, chill out. Uh, there's microwaves around here for you to be able to warm up food from home if you want to, uh, or you can get one of the delicious treats that we have from there. Now, another really important spot, I'm gonna to try to keep myself on camera here, just because I like the look of my face. You can see the, the bookstore is open. Uh, bookstore, so what's bookstore? Well, gone are the days of where a teacher hands you out uh, your textbook, uh, and then you keep it in really good condition, and then uh, uh, hand it back in at the end of the year. When you come to post-secondary, we think it's time for you to start building your, uh, your library for your career, your uh, tools of the trade, your materials, and that stuff. And so you're making an investment in that for when you get out of here. And this is what your bookstore uh, would have for you. So uh, not only would you be able to get your books, all your writing supplies, um, you'd be able to really get anything that you want. There's Liz on camera. <laughs> uh, Liz, we're, we're looking at you right now. Uh, oh, she's buying something, see? Um, now, uh, what's really, really cool 
is that uh, you can also get swag here, which is my favorite part. Uh, because when you're a George Brown College student, student, you're a proud George Brown College student. So you're gonna go on and get your hoodies and your water bottles and your coffee mugs and all that great stuff. Uh, and, uh, and that. Now, I always do say as well to you, to please wait uh, for at least the first sort of three weeks of school um, to, uh, to go in and, and sort of fill out your collection there, uh, just because they love to give out free stuff here at the college. Um, we're gonna pop downstairs. Uh, I'm hoping that the student association space is still open. Uh, I didn't do a, a proper walkthrough this morning, unfortunately, to see, um, and things are sort of, we're, we're moving sort of on a on a minute to minute basis here. Uh, again, out of uh, an abundance of caution uh, to make sure that our staff and our students are, uh, are safe and uh, healthy, at least doing our part uh, for that. So um, we're moving down into the basement space here because when you have a beautiful space in downtown Toronto, you are always uh, looking to maxi maximize your space. <laughs> so, uh, oh, and I think they're close. Oh, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not, fingers crossed. Um, so we're in the basement here. Um, and uh, the entrance uh, to the athletic center is uh, over there as well. Oh, they are open, fantastic. Um, the uh, athletic center isn't open, so that's why we didn't go there. I could have showed you the door, but that would have been about it. Um, and again, so, Makes me sad, but imagine all of these seats filled with beautiful shining faces, uh, eager to learn, uh, come and chill out, watch the, watch the news, uh, maybe go into, and their food options are closed, but there's La Dolce Vita back there. Uh, there is uh, Subway and treats there for you guys to be able to enjoy. Um, La Dolce Vita, also to keep in mind, uh, because you know, for those students who are of age, might wanna uh, share, share an alcoholic beverage with your pals, uh, that's an option for you back there. Uh, but if you didn't want to, you could just go out, hang out. They have a really nice patio uh, during the uh, summer season for you to be able to, uh, to enjoy. Uh, so I encourage you to do that. Behind these walls here, <coughs> excuse me, and we'll see if we can see in. It's pretty dark, but what you're looking at right now is a dark room <laughs> filled with PS4s and with uh, couches and stuff like that, because that's a gaming room for students. So unlike our uh, design building where uh, they call their game rooms uh, research, <laughs> which I love, uh, they have uh, here at this campus, they have an actual game room for you guys to be able to, uh, to use. So lots of things. One of the other things, places that we have here uh, at the Student Association, so Student Association also does a lot of services. So unfortunately they're closed right now because we don't have students here, but uh, there is the Student Nutrition Access Program, uh, or SNAP. Um, and uh, really, it's, uh, it's our version of, uh, I guess, kind of like a food bank. So if you find yourself a little strapped for cash, of course, you know, budgeting isn't always everybody's uh, forte. Uh, you can always come in and you can get some, uh, some yummy food from here. Um, I know when I first started school, I didn't know that I had to budget for, um, you know, I had running shoes, I had uh, video games, and then all of a sudden I needed groceries. I was like, what? Uh, so, uh, there's the option for you to come in and do that. It's all confidential, no questions asked. Uh, if you are hungry, you're a student here, you need some food, you go in and you, uh, you go in, you can use that service. So, highly recommend that. They also have things like health benefits plans there for students. Uh, they have legal aid, they have safe walk programs, things like that, uh, all here on campus. So, we are almost finished the tour. Um, I'm not used to this much walking and talking uh, all at the same time, because usually I have breaks, uh, but I'm trying to fill out your time with me as much as possible by giving you uh, as much information. So we've seen some really key spots on campus. Um, sort of to recap, you know, there's the Student Service Center, there's the library, uh, there's faculty offices. We're in our area right now for architecture. Um, you can see more models here. Uh, classrooms, they tried the lab, the classroom labs. They're built as fours, because we see that that's the kind of style that they have uh, when you guys move out into industry. Um, and so we try to do things like that. Um, if you do ever want to speak to any of your faculty offices, uh, construction's just back there. Uh, if you go online to uh, georgebrowncollege.ca slash programs, you guys would be able to uh, go into that uh, and find really contact information for any of your faculty here. Um, if, you, um, if you wanted to come down to campus when we're open, uh, you guys are welcome to do that, but always start with an email too. Uh, schedule an appointment uh, so that um, your precious time is not wasted uh, if you can't find somebody here, okay? Uh, and here we are back in the Welcome Center. Oh, you can hear people laughing, I love it. 
I love it, a little bit of vibrancy. Um, so uh, I do want to, uh, to welcome everybody. Actually, maybe we'll pop outside real quick just so you can see the exterior of the building. You would have gotten to see this if, uh, if you were able to come in person, but no problem. If this, is, this is the next best thing to being here in person. Uh, so we are on Kendall Avenue right here, very, very close to the uh, subway. Thank goodness it's a bit chilly, but it is uh, a, a lovely day here. Uh, okay, here we go. George Brown. This is our Casa Loma campus. So everybody, with that, I'm going to uh, spin this around. We can finish off out here. Um, I want to say thank you for joining me online. I hope uh, you had a, a number of questions answered for you today. Um, I'm, maybe I'll turn around so you can get the George Brown College in the background. Yes, yes. Um, so uh, thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, if uh, you do have any questions, email, because people, you, uh, while they may not be here on campus uh, or whatnot, a lot of people are still here on campus, we're always happy to answer your questions. Um, of course, things are a, a little uh, tender right now just because uh, of the closures and again, us uh, all trying to keep each other safe from uh, the COVID-19. Um, but um, please email, uh, be patient if you can, because uh, it is a bit of a trying time, um, but uh, you can always find that information uh, either online or again by emailing uh, or even calling. Uh, to see if somebody's available to speak with you. Uh, for those of you who have registered uh, or who have applied to a program, great. If you've applied and you haven't heard back, try to be patient. Um, if you have uh, heard back uh, and you've been accepted, uh, congratulations. We hope to see you in September if that's when you're starting for um, or May, uh, whatever. Um, next steps are really to um, accept your offer pay your non-refundable $500 deposit to hold your seat. That's usually mid-June. Uh, and then you guys will, <clears throat> excuse me, you guys will head out uh, and, well, you won't head out, but you will register next for your classes. You'll come to your orientation. That's the week usually before school starts. And then you will uh, go and start classes and take over your whatever world you, you, uh, you to your classes in. Make a bazillion dollars and remember this guy. Okie dokie. So uh, with that, um, I'm signing off. Hopefully, if you've had any questions, uh, you've uh, James has been able to be here for you. And uh, any other questions you have, don't hesitate to either email uh, tours, T-O-U-R-S, at georgebrown.ca, um, or even better, go right to the experts uh, and find the emails for your faculty. All right. Um, please, please, please uh, stay healthy, uh, stay safe, and we'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great day. Thanks for joining us. Oh, and fingers. Let's try this. There we go.